Uh, for those who don't know who Cat Stevens is, he was a uh, singer-songwriter in the 60s. It's a really good songs, actually. Yeah, he was a heck of a talent with a, um, a unique voice. And um, he gave it all up. You know Ray Stevens, you know, Cat Stevens. He gave it all up. Um, because he was swimming out in the ocean and he was got caught in a riptide or something and he started drowning and um, <clears throat> he got really, obviously, really afraid and stuff and panicked and then he, he just decided to throw out a, a prayer and he said, uh, God, if you save me, I'll promise I'll do work for you or basically something along those lines and then he said all of a sudden out of nowhere this wave just came along and pushed him out of the riptide and uh, then he became a Muslim and changed his name and because his old songs <clears throat> don't agree with his religion he stopped which is a bit of a shame but hey he made a promise it doesn't matter if you make it to someone that's there not there whatever a promise is a promise and he's um, he's kept it. But kudos. Him. That is bizarre. That GPS. I'm assuming I'm going right. Okay. Let's. No, I was going. That was really confusing. Can I reverse back in? Is anyone behind me? Sure I can, I don't think I came all the way out, but that was... Maybe not. Ambulance. Just bear with me, guys. You can blame the jeep. Settle down, you. Settle down. Copper. Copper and ambulance. Well, the two type of people you really want to keep waiting. <laughs> That was on first gear. Okay, now it makes more sense. But it wasn't showing that. Oh, that's weird. Did you, Mike? <laughs> you make that problem. God probably. You probably haven't got God's memo. Maybe he left a answer, a voicemail in your answer machine or something. He's probably saying he's not worth the effort, sunshine. Not a promise I'm interested in. <laughs> Mind you, you probably only got another 20 to go. <laughs> You've already probably done a 980. Oh, my lights are on, are they? Well, well, well. Fancy that. Stay right, and then continue straight. Look at this beautiful town. I'm assuming that's Town Hall. Go straight. Here's a Town Hall you guys call today. Stay right. And then continue straight. I mean, we have town halls, but <clears throat> Go I'm thinking more of uh, in America, your town halls where the mirrors and stuff. I assume. I'm only going off um, TV shows, obviously. Stay right, and then continue straight. What? No. What you really want to say is just stay straight. Go straight. Yes, like that. Nothing needed it until we get to a court turn off there, GPS. How are you today, Mike, anyway? I should say that, eh? I should ask how you are. Did you catch old Frith's um, streams? I'll say plural, streams, this morning. You obviously caught the Jimmy JJ bug. <laughs> Jimmy JJ live bug. I think I think I saw you. Oh, you had work. I thought I saw you there actually. 
Uh, yeah, he um, has, he had to restart three times. The streams just cut down. One time his PC restarted. That'll teach him for starting so early that I have to miss half of it. Oh, as soon as I hit 60, it goes to 50. I'm not surprised, really. Look at that, a Big Mac. You can't run from us forever. Yeah, well, actually, I can. Go straight. I have done for the last six years, buddy. Mind you, I suppose I... Still time. <laughs> that might end up being correct. Could you stick your nose out a little bit further there, mate? No. I don't need that up, do I? Because we're, we're not going into bumper view. So I decided to watch the last uh, Fast and Furious movies last night. Um... I've always liked them. I think the last couple sort of got really good. And so I watched the last one last night. Not all the way through. I got sick of it. It was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. It was one of those movies where they decided, let's just make, do a movie. We've got the reputation. Let's not even put an effort in. Let's just throw some random things in there that make no abs absolutely no sense and pretend to make them look really, really cool so people would go, oh, wow, that was cool. Because they all think, well, that's stupid. And I didn't finish it. I just turned it off. It was ridiculous. Little chunks of sensibility and nice and good moments, in the, but the rest of it was just a load of garbage. I tried to turn it into a Bond movie. At least bomb there's some sensibility and maybe you could go, oh, that could happen, I suppose. But uh, that movie last night was, nah, what are you doing? No, what is this garbage? Nah, that was me pretty much through the movie. Are they making a new one? Well, they need to. They need to apologise for that last one, Mike. <clears throat> In fact, everyone should get their money back from the producers who ever went and spent money to go to the movies to watch it. Unbelievable! It was so disgusted, so disgusted by it. They did a spin-off with one of the characters, have they? Which character? So I also got a game off Epic that's free at the moment, I'm trying to remember what it's called actually. It's very much like Iron Heart set up, but it's it's more um, medieval. Um, and it sort of reminds me of Total War Medieval 2 actually, which I really, really loved when it came out. I really loved that. So I was having a look at that today, a little bit last night. Um, looks like a lot of fun. Pretty much the game, same game type, type as gameplay type. Hang on, I'm getting the um, throat thing again. Oh, trying to get the right buttons here, but I've got my wheel turned and I can't. Oh, it's gone down to 55 anyway. Uh, same gameplay type as as Medieval 2, except you don't get the. Um, in the war, the battles, you don't you don't get to go in and actually go down to the field and see the battle. Like that. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that better be better than the last one. That's for sure. Jeez, I've got to keep clearing my throat yet again. That's come back. I've been alright for the last bit, but... The Beatles. I just saw a song for the Beatles. Oh, I might need to get in the other lane. So, yeah, I'm trying to think what that um, movie's called, actually. Why is that? Hang on, that should go... Yeah. It's a bit bizarre. Uh, the game I was playing last night, um, but it's free on Epic at the moment. <sighs> what is that called? You... Rope here, rope, oh, so I don't know. It's the fourth installment of that game, anyway. And later on the week, which is quite good, <clears throat> I think on the eighth of October in six days, is um, another free game coming out. Now let me just get another drink. I was too busy drinking to see if there was a car coming. Uh, now, <clears throat> I've always wanted to have a look at this game. You know, I've hummed and hawed about it, especially with the price. Oh, Hobson Shaw. Oh, really? <clears throat> Yeah, and um, when I've thought about buying it, I was just sort of like, oh, it's the price, I suppose. And then, then when I went, oh, I wouldn't mind buying it. What is the price? And I didn't have the money. <clears throat> and then yesterday, I sort of <clears throat> remembered about it. And I thought, oh, I'll go off and have a look at Steam to see how much it is at the moment, which I tend to do. When I really want a game, it's always when I've got no money. So I didn't end up going. I've forgotten about it to have a look at it. Go straight. And um, yeah, Epic's coming out with it for free on the eighth, which is the PC builder, some PC builder simulator or something. So I'm sort of looking forward to that. Give me some beeping. Go straight. Oh, right, it's the train. Go straight. Guessing I need to go this way. So yeah, and I, I think I'll, I'll get the same feeling from that game as I did with, um, well, as I do with the uh, car mechanic. Stay left, and then exit left. Oi, settle you. And stay right there until I've actually passed you. I gotta remember it's a long trailer on the back when I'm doing my cornering. <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. Epic Games. PC Builder Simulator is coming out for free from the 8th of October for about a week, I'd imagine, before they bring out the next one. Oh, mine in that gear. And um, I already thought I was in the top range then, so I wasn't too worried about it, but... Um, yeah, and there's one out now. I wish I remember the name of it. <laughs> I only downloaded it last night. You think I wouldn't forget it, but I do. I was actually playing it this morning as well. <sighs> so if you like your Hearts of Iron type game, but in sort of medieval times. <clears throat> Jeez, my throat really is. Need any old clearing.
Uh, thankfully, we can hit 75. Mind you, that is the fastest you can go with wheel of trucks in it, but um, we're doing a normal one this time, so we're not stuck to that. It is, is it, oh, it's 65, isn't it, in this? With wheel of trucks, so you, we can actually get to the speed limit, thank goodness. We will be grabbing a, probably a wheel of trucks on the way back. Alright, let's go and get ourselves weighed. Let's hope we are what we're supposed to be, eh? You never know in this game. Yeah, being sarcastic. They should add that, really. They should add a random thing where they actually say, no, hey, look, you're overweight. Here's a bit of a fine. Not too often, you know. Just a slight clerical error on the dispatchers or the logistics company's side of things, you know. And they put a number in the wrong place. Something like that. Because otherwise I don't see the point of these things. You just come in, you get weighed, you're always fine, and then they tell you to go. There's absolutely no point to it, really. Other to slow you down. I mean, admittedly, they've obviously changed the ratio of how many times you get pulled over. It's as far as I can figure it out, it's almost 50-50 random. Instead of the um, one in every ten that you could bypass. In other words, stop in nine times, get the tenth one free. <laughs> Cruise ship on uh, Stormworks. Uh, hang on, what was that? What, uh, they should add some time if the crash is bit. They do, mate. They do, Mike. If you crash badly, you got to, um... Well, if you run out of fuel, you got to call for fuel. You can ring up for extra fuel, which costs you, and it takes a bit of time for them to get to you. If you crash, um, yeah, they account for the time and how long it takes to get you to the nearest mechanics. So it all depends how far away the nearest mechanics is, um, and how much time they add on. But they do have that. They've always had that, actually. With the mechanic ones, they added the fuel one and, and stuff in a bit later, actually probably more recent as far as the release of the game. Maybe last year or the end of the year before. Whoops. A snake! Hey matey! How are ya? Good to see you bud! All over the road as I was reading your comment. How you been? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it is attached to the random encounter because I've turned mine down and um, <clears throat> from the original but I haven't changed it since the last update came out and uh, I've definitely noticed a, a change in the amount of times I have to pull in and actually uh, get weighed. Yeah, I'm not too bad, mate. I'm not too bad. Stay right, and then exit right. It's just all trucking along here. Working our way up to, um... 
a new truck at the moment. We need to hit 200 grand. That's the next l limit for our next truck. And then we can start working on uh, bringing in workers, expanding the second garage. Of course, fill that up and then go to a third garage. Then get another contract for another company. And then the old budget for the next truck goes to 250,000, quarter of a mil. But uh, yeah, obviously the more people we get in, the quicker we will get there. Well, I suppose, I mean, that's just a little too much, and it? <clears throat> the truck gets stolen. Because then people go, right, why, why don't we have insurance then if you're going to add that? And you go, oh, okay, you can have insurance. Great, insurance company pays for it. Mind you, um, I've always wanted insurance in this game. Um, obviously, ATS has it, and for some reason, ETS doesn't, because apparently insurance is only in America. You can't get it anywhere else. <laughs> I don't understand that. Just like... You can only get one type of tyre in America, where in, apparently in Europe you can get different types to deal with some better with the distance and economy and sound and... I don't know why they're not the same on both games. I can't figure it out. It's just ridiculous. But I would, I would love it if they did have an insurance that comes out, you pay for insurance and certain costs obviously with your truck and that how much your truck is worth and your building insurance and all that kind of stuff just to make it a little bit harder because as, as great as this game is it's like most games that don't really have an end, end game to it you get to a certain point where it loses its appeal and that is when you start making so much money and you've got what you want and from there on, it's just a matter of the money flowing in and you just buying another garage going through the motions like that. It's For me, I don't know if anyone else is the same. Let me know if you are. But it's it's the grind of the game that I like getting to the goal. I enjoy the most. I mean, sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain and you don't like it and you want to get there. But it's the accomplishment for me. At the end of it, it's even when you get that feeling, oh, this is getting a... I was hating this and all this kind of stuff but you stick to it and you get through it and there's, at the end of it you sort of miss it because it, it was it's just yeah it gives you something to do so having a bit more insurance costs and everything else like that would be great so when you do crash or hit a car or something like that if it is your fault even though half the time it is always your fault in this game no matter what um then you've got to sort out insurance and then you've got to sit and do the insurance so that'll cost you time so that goes against your, your deadline time you know trying to get there on time for your deadline uh, and um, then obviously with the insurance your premiums will go up which will give people incentive to really not try and crash like myself because I clearly need a really good incentive trying not to crash because <clears throat> I get plenty of incentive to try and crash from you lot in chat and I really don't need that either because I'm doing quite fine on my own crashing. Mind you, I went through a whole stream yesterday without doing it once, didn't I? I was actually shocked. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. It was a weird feeling. So did you stream today, Snake? It'll be Friday evening for you, wouldn't it? Oh, okay. I thought you came and raided me once. You just uh, do it every now and then. Oh, okay. Right, go. 
So you got us here, sitting on Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. Like I said, that's a uh, problem with me with getting uh, streaming at this time of the day for me. Um, I mean, I get mostly people from America because it's your evening. Um, it's either sort of afternoon, uh, morning for the all the folks down in the southern hemisphere, which probably more be most suited. But um, night time stream's not ideal for me. Hello, Ed. So I'll wait until um, just in case you guys got ads as well. Actually, what is the time? No, it shouldn't be an ad now. These Twitch, you're so irregular with the ads. Oh no, hang on, that's right, started half an hour early. Forgot about that. Oh, that's a nice view down there. A nice straight road to check it out too, look at that. Come on, get to 60, you can do it. Then move over. Trying to do too many things at blooming once here. While looking at the um, scenery. <laughs> yeah, I know, we've got ads. <clears throat> yeah, I do mod the game. Um, ETS more so than ATS. I'm not as bad as I used to be, though. <clears throat> I had a lot of map mods. Uh, ETS, obviously, there's a lot more map mods than ETS and ATS. It's been around longer. But um, I stopped doing that because I just got sick of having to download them all, update them all, do all the load order and everything else like that every time. Uh, yes, they updated the game. Well, obviously not every time, but a major update or DLC came out. I just got sick of it. You got to go find it, and you got to download them, and you normally, if you got to pay, if you want the fast ones, and which I would if I had the money. So you have to go with the slow download, then you got to unpack them, then you got to make sure your load order's correct, and then you go in and something goes wrong, you got to spend hours trying to figure out why, and it's usually because you've forgotten to do something, but it takes you about three hours to figure that out. So, um, with the ETS now, I just stick with um, Pro Mods. Um, well, Pro Mods and Rush Map, so... Uh, I've stopped using Rush Map because when the last update came out, um, I think someone tried to sneak in a sneaky little uh, link on the official site or where you normally get it, which is uh, SES site forum. Stay left and then turn By right. five miles an hour. Oh, I suppose it's miles an hour, not kilometres, eh? Um, yeah, so people were downloading it, it wasn't working all that, so I just thought, mm, it's lucky I didn't do that. But because there's a rush map coming, a Russian map coming out. Excuse me, while I clear my throat yet again, uh, I wasn't going to bother putting it back on. But yeah, I do uh, mainly. Um, if uh, going out, you probably see some of them. Uh, so I got sort of real cars and buses and stuff like that. And I can't scroll out much. Not really a good indication. But I got the Jazzy Cat stuff. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've got gas stations as well. Actually, I was r really lucky. Uh, I had um, <clears throat> Real Companies mod. Which I got from the same guy that does the Seasons mod. I've got Seasons mods as well. Stay and, um... 
uh, he does seasons for ETS and ATS. He does Paris rebuild, uh, and he does uh, realistic building lights and um, <clears throat> real companies for ATS. Yeah. And I had that, but I struggled to find a petrol station run. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't really struggle. I just didn't think about it because I played a lot more ATS than I did ATS. <laughs> and uh, when I did come into ATS, I went, oh, I should have a look at that. But I wasn't too really fussed about it. But um, when, since I'm sort of doing this on the stream, you know, I really, really wanted to get a um, thought it wouldn't have been that hard to get in the box. <coughs> Haven't had that before. Um, there we go, line it up. Try that. Try lining it up and then driving in. There we go. Tips for life. There we are. Get off my truck. Let's do this. What do you mean? Let's do this. Oh, it's my. Oh, that's right. It's my. It's my trailer. <laughs> oh, might want to take it with me. <laughs> yeah. So um, and I, I finally looked for one, and there was one I found on the stream workshop, and um, unfortunately, it was wasn't being looked after anymore. And apparently, it didn't work with one point four. But I managed to come across one that um does real companies at gas station and billboards which i had a billboard one as well so i managed to replace three mods with that mod so i was quite happy about that let's find out where we are and what we're doing here what's time but um on my uh, YouTube channel where I put the streams up, um, on the first two streams of both uh, ETS and ATS, so I actually um, streamed me putting the uh, mods on and the load order for them. Uh, they're pretty much all the same, except for I added um, <clears throat> Canada Dream into this one. Because I found a mod that does a road connection for Canada Dream and Pro mods. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got that. I've already forgotten again that I've got this attached. I've got to get used to this. Um. Could I? I suppose I could actually. I've got plenty of room there if I go forward and then reverse back in. Or do they? Oh, it's been so long since I've seen the regular ones. I mean, a long, long time. So I, I didn't realise they were funny ones. I probably didn't pay any attention. I just paid attention because I went, oh. Real billboards, real ad advertisement is what it was called. <clears throat> and I thought, oh, well, there you go. And then, because you do that, then you purposely look out for the billboards. But I didn't really look out for the billboards before then. Because I just thought they'd just be just fake advertising that. But I didn't think they'd be like on the Grand Theft Auto side of things where they'd be funny of some sorts, have humour in them. So... Yeah, so if you if you want to know what mods are, I mean, um, you can check that out. You can if you there's a link to my YouTube channel and uh, my about page, or you can just type in exclamation mark YouTube into chat, and that'll bring you up a link. And then you can just have a look a quick look at the first two videos on both of them. I've got them in a playlist, so nice and easy to find. And then you can have a look and see what um, mods I'm running. ATS is a lot quicker than uh, ETS. Four o'clock. We've got plenty of gas. I suppose we'd better look for a job, really, because we've still got time. And I, I was going off to see if we needed petrol. What's the bet we get a job here and I have to turn back around? Yeah, 
you subscribe. You already did. Were you one of the ones to subscribe? Because because old YouTube's not telling me who's subscribing.